Butterfly wing patterns have a basic plan to them, which is manipulated by non-coding regulatory DNA to create the diversity of wings seen in different species, according to new research. The study, Deep Cis Regulatory Homology of the Butterfly Wing Pattern Ground Plan, published as the cover story in the October 21st issue of Science, explains how DNA that sits between genes, called junk DNA or non-coding regulatory DNA, accommodates a basic plan conserved over tens to hundreds of. The research supports the idea that an ancient color pattern ground plan is already encoded in the genome and that non-coding regulatory DNA works like switches to turn up some patterns and turn down others. We are interested to know how the same gene can build these very different looking butterflies, said Anyi Mazo Vargas, Ph. D. 20, the study's first author and a former graduate student in the lab of senior author, Robert Reed. Professor of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology in the College of Agric. Previous work in Reed's lab has uncovered key color pattern genes, one, WNTA, that controls stripes and another, optics, that controls color and iridescence in butterfly wings. When the researchers disabled the optics gene, the wings appeared black, and when the WNTA gene was deleted, stripe patterns disappeared. This study focused on the effect of non-coding DNA on the WNTA gene. In order for these non-coding regulatory elements to control genes, tightly wound coils of DNA become unspooled. A sign that a regulatory element is interacting with a gene to activate it, or in some cases, turn it off. In the study, the researchers used a technology called ATAC-seq to identify regions in the genome where this unraveling is occurring. They were surprised to find that a large number of regulatory regions were shared across very different butterfly species. When deleted, each non-coding element changed an aspect of the wing patterns of the butterflies. The researchers found that across four of the species, Junonia coenia, buckeye, Vanessa cardui, painted lady, Heliconius humera and Agralis vanilli, gulf fritillary, each of these non-coding elements had similar functions with respect to the WNTA gene, proving they were ancient and conserved. They also found that D. plexippus, monarch, used different regulatory elements from the other four species to control its WNTA gene, perhaps because it lost some of its genetic information over its history and had to reinvent its own regulatory system to develop its unique color patterns. We have progressively come to understand that most evolution occurs because of mutations in these non-coding regions, Reed said. What I hope is that this paper will be a case study that shows how people can use this combination of ATAC-seq and CRISPR to begin to interrogate these interesting regions in their own study systems, whether they work on birds or flies or worms. The study was funded by the National Science Founda. This research is a breakthrough for our understanding of the genetic control of complex traits, and not only in butterflies, said Theodore Morgan, a program director at the NSF. Not only did the study show how the instructions for butterfly color patterns are deeply conserved across evolutionary history, but it also revealed new evidence for how regulatory DNA segments positively and negatively influence traits such as color and shape. Materials provided by Cornell Univ. Original written by Krishna Ramanujan, courtesy of the Cornell Chronicle. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Cornell University. 2022, October 21st. Butterfly wing patterns emerge from ancient, junk, DNA. Science Daily. Retrieved October 21, 2022 from ift.tt/hep7mlj Cornell University. Thanks for watching.
Please subscribe my channel for more videos.